I'm Liz. I'm one of the owners of Groovy Plants Ranch, and I just thought I'd give you an update on my garden, which is right here. So one of the things we did this year, which was an experiment for me, was we put down cardboard, which you can see right here, and then a, um, a mulch on top of it. And so that is works like a weed barrier, and you can see the cardboard a little bit through. I don't love that, but it holds the weeds back, so I've done almost no weeding. It was a lot of work at first, but it's really made my garden a lot more enjoyable since then. These are giant Marconi peppers. They're getting nice and big, but they need to be red before we can pick them. So they're looking great. And one of the things we did in our garden is that um, we made sure that we had everything staged so the short stuff was in front, which you could see the vines are down that way. They take up a lot of space because they go crazy. And then medium stuff here and then tomatoes in the back so they don't shade them. Peppers need probably the most sun of any of the plants in my vegetable garden, so it's really important that nothing is shading them. My tomatoes, the cherry ones are starting to come in, and you can see this is a black cherry. Look at how pretty that color is. Um, I don't get a lot of cherries because our little girls come in and pick them and eat them out of the garden, but um, our tomatoes, that's my favorite thing to grow. I grow way more than we could ever eat. I just share them with people because I love growing tomatoes. This is one of our eggplants. These are um, the Asian type eggplants. So instead of being the big fat guy that you see at the grocery store, I like to grow the skinnier ones. They tend to be a little bit sweeter and have a little bit less seed in the middle. And they seem to be very profuse at growing. Um, so we picked a couple, maybe two nights ago, and we're gonna have to eat eggplant again tomorrow because we have so many. One of the great things about our garden is that we irrigate it. So if you're interested in the irrigation, we have an earlier video that Jared did about how to put in your irrigation system. It's pretty cheap and easy, but um, in the morning, I just flip on the water at the house and let it run for half an hour, and that's all the watering I need to do. There's no hand watering. It, once again, makes my garden a lot easier to enjoy. As you can see here, this is the irrigation system. Water comes in here, and then there's a tube going directly to each plant. This is Foxy. She's uh, just got her summer haircut. But anyways, um, this is a new garden site for us. And one of the things that we noticed was that our vines were not producing fruit. And we started to look at it and it looked like they weren't getting pollinated, which is really strange. I don't know why. Maybe there's a lot of birds in this area or maybe there haven't been a lot of flowers traditionally in this location, but I wasn't seeing a lot of pollinators. So I planted a lot of perennials in the garden this um, past weekend that bring in honeybees. So this is um, catmint, um, Walker's Low. It is one of the best honeybee magnets and I've already seen some honeybees on it in the four days that I've planted it. So I'm help hopeful that having put five or six Walker's Low around my vines will help um, get more pollination on my vines. And if all else fails, I may have to get a paintbrush and hand pollinate some of the watermelons because my daughter will lose her mind if we don't have any watermelons. One thing that I like to do with my garden is I like to put a border of zinnias. We like the state fair zinnias, but we put it around the garden um, just to add some flowers and some color to the garden. And also then I can cut them and have them in the house. So it doesn't do anything beneficial for the plants, but I do love doing it. It's um, something that we do just about every year to my garden. Thanks for taking a look at my garden with me. We'll give you an update soon um, when we start seeing more fruit and leave a comment about what else you'd like to see me grow and any questions you have about my garden.